Hi guys, uh, this is uh, a short video that will um, kind of uh, outline the um, Hall Effect devices and the Hall Effect uh, device conditioning boards that I'm using. First of all, I hooked up a power supply that gives me a 5 volt um, DC supply. Um, that's just an old um, instrumentation supply that had a nice solid 5 volt nice regulated 5 volt. Um, hooked it up with some jumper wires. Here are two of the conditioning boards. They come all in one um, big strip and uh, you snap off however many you need. Um, for my uh, job I've got one for the camshaft, one for the crankshaft. And you can see the little LED light that's lit on there right now. That tells me that I have power and that uh, everything is connected properly. And you see the, the little wires that come down off of there. That is the um, ground, the supply voltage, 5 volt supply voltage, and also the signal coming back off of the Hall Effect devices that I've got connected over here. Um, right now what I've got connected is this Hall Effect device. It's an industrial um, micro switch. Um, Hall effect device, um, it won't detect regular steel. It will detect a south pole of a magnet. And here I've got, um, in a plastic bag, I've got a small magnet embedded. You can just barely see it there. And this is in the cam wheel. So basically, what happens is I'll take this, I'll take this um, Hall effect device, and I'll put it right over. That magnet and whenever the south pole of that little magnet passes you can see the light flash in there try to do everything here with two hands and I really need some more let's see what see when it goes over that magnet it flashes and so as that cam wheel comes around and passes this Hall Effect device, it's going to um, give me a signal output from that conditioning board that's going to be a nice sharp square wave every time this comes by. And every time that cam wheel comes by and triggers that, that output from this board <coughs> will be an input to the mega squirt on that nice sharp 5 volt square wave. Actually it's a little bit less than 5 volts. So I'm going to disconnect that Hall Effect conditioning board. I'm going to move things over here to the other one. The other one I have connected to a different kind of Hall Effect device it's a um, gear tooth sensor. Okay, and I can see that I've got everything on this other board. This gear tooth sensor is a Paquette F58S, and it's got a magnet that's back in this case. And then that magnetic field passes through a Hall Effect device that's right on the end of it. And then as you pass steel teeth past the end of this, it'll count every tooth that goes by. Now they don't have to be magnetic, but they do have to be a ferrous metal. So um, you want to use a sintered steel or an iron core or something like that. And basically I, I've got, um, this is a non-magnetized um, but thin uh, steel Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to bring it past the end of it and you can see the action over here every time a tooth goes past the end of this pickup it'll give me a square wave now when I'm running the trigger wheel the 36 minus 1 tooth uh, trigger wheel it'll give me 35 pulses 35 pulses of about 5 volt um, DC output in a nice clean square wave off of this conditioning board and so this makes the basis of the trigger uh, system 
for the uh, set up the timing from this engine. I've got one I've got one wheel on the crankshaft that gives me 35 pulses with a with a a zero point, a missing tooth that resets the count. And then I've got one trigger off of this other board every revolution of the cam. So the crank is making two revolutions to every revolution of the cam. And the purpose of the of the pulse uh, for the cam tells the mega squirt what phase the cam is in. So you want it to uh, be able to tell when the cam wheel is at its zero degree point, which would coincide to basically top dead center um, on uh, the engine, which would be the first piston all the way up. Anyway, that's uh, that's the basis of this stuff, and this is the uh, the little instrumentation that I'm using. Um, I hope that you find that sufficient to at least get you started. Um, you're, you got to pick and choose your sources. I bought um, these sensors from eBay, and they were probably some kind of uh, um, overstock on some uh, company's um, spare parts list or something that maybe they don't use anymore. And uh, somebody put them up on eBay. Anyway, I've got the uh, the little DVM here. Gives me my voltage. Make sure that my voltage is on on target. Um, also, these conditioner boards pull very, very little current because I'm going to be using the 5 volt uh, supply from the Mega Squirt. Just run one wire out to it and then share that um, uh, 5 volts on both of these boards. Then I'm going to run the ground right back down to the engine block and um, then I'll have one output from each of these boards. That'll give me three wires that run back to the Mega Squirt power and, and two signal wires. That uh, keeps everything nice and uh, neat. And uh, these uh, conditioning boards, are, I'm going to actually mount these in a steel box. And I'm going to put that out in the engine bay. And so the only wires that are going to come from the Mega Squirt will be those three wires. And they'll just go right to that, that box. And I'm going to mount that uh, probably on, on the engine. Um, I'll probably put it right here somewhere. It's just going to be a small box. And so I'll mount it right here. Um, over here is where um, the uh, right here this hole that I'm covering up that's the pickup for the cam then I'm going to shift everything um, off the number of degrees that I am from from the top dead center point over here and that'll give me uh, close to the zero degree point on the cam wheel anyway I'm just going to bring the wires right up right up along here and uh, keep those as short as I can and I'll have another one that'll be down on the crankshaft and on that I'll bring the the wiring for it um, I'll bring it right up around over the top here right down to this point so both of those cables will feed right into that box about the same place anyway that's uh, some of the stuff that I'm doing here this is uh, for the Suzuki uh, G10 uh, one liter three cylinder engine um, this one is uh, turbo charged. There's a turbine tech um, exhaust manifold. It's got a TDO4 turbo on it. And uh, then I've just prepared some of the other things on the engine um, for this particular build. Anyway, gee, I wish I was better at these documents. Um, I'd feel a lot better, but you might get the, the picture. Thanks guys, thanks for tuning in.